everybody! Hi! It's me, Miss Jenny. Me, Demi. And we're here with another DIY Demi video! Yay! So today we are going to make something really special. They are called symbols. Can you say symbols? Symbols. That's right. So we are going to show you what they are right now so you know exactly what you're making. Here I have some symbols, and these are called. Um, these can be called crash symbols or hand symbols, okay? So I'm gonna make a, a really, really loud sound with these, okay? But just listen. What are they made out of first? Metal. They are made out of metal. And so these are a kind of percussion instrument, and that means that these are instruments that I strike or I hit together to make a sound. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. What do you feel? Vibrations. Vibrations, right. So when I hit these two together, you can actually feel the vibrations and you can hear them. I'm gonna hit them together one more time, okay? It's like my hand is wiggling. It's like your hand is wiggling from the vibrations of the cymbals when I hit them together. Now, in order for me to stop this, I need to actually pull it together. So I'm going to hit it one more time so you all can hear really what it sounds like. Okay, I'm going to try to make this one really big. If I angle it towards you, you can probably hear it better. All right, I'm going to stop the sound by muting it on my body and I'm going to put it down. So you might be thinking, what are we wearing, right? And why do we have this red decoration up? Well, it's because these crash symbols are often used in celebrating Chinese New Year, also called what? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Lunar? Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year, because um, Chinese people culturally celebrate the New Year um, on the new moon that usually happens sometime late in January or early in February. So, uh, going back to our crash symbols, uh, Chinese people often have a parade to welcome the new year. And what did they have? You want to show everybody? They either have a lion or a dragon. Yeah, usually both. So here we are very lucky to have a big lion head with us. And oftentimes people will wear it <laughs> and then they will open and close the mouth to make it look like a real lion. And so they'll dance in the streets with this lion or dragon head. And they will dance with the, the sound and the music of the crash cymbals. And that's how they welcome the new year. <laughs> All right. So let's put this down so we can get to our instrument making project. Yay! Yay! So we are going to make our very own crash cymbals. All right, so in order to make our very own crash symbols, we are going to need some supplies. You are going to need some CDs. Thank you. We are going to also need scissors. Scissors, that's right. And tape. Tape, yep, just a little bit or more for decorating if you would like. And we are also going to need some yarn. Yarn, thank Wait you. Yeah. And, and some some beads. beads, but really you just need one for each symbol, so just two, okay? So, and this yarn could be any, any kind of yarn, it doesn't have to be red, okay? We chose red because um, it is Chinese New Year and red is a lucky color for, um, for Chinese people, red and gold. So here we have gold too. Uh, and then the last thing that you are going to need are Markers. markers and here we have some uh, some permanent markers okay so um, that way that when you decorate your symbols the uh, patterns and the colors will stay on uh, longer okay okay so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decorate these all right so go ahead and grab whatever um, permanent marker you would like and I'm going to start off with the, the shiny side, okay? Because this is the side that we are going to see. And so um, you can go ahead and start 
drawing um, patterns or um, designs. I need some gold and red. You want to use gold, uh, and yellow and red. Oh, okay. So is you like that too? Yeah, gold, yellow is like gold. Yeah, so if you don't have gold, you can use yellow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, section my CD off. So I have my pizza pie here, and in each little um, triangle shape, I'm prob I'm going I'm going to do a different pattern. So I'm going to start with polka dots. So I started off with my first pattern. I've got giant polka dots there, and then, like uh, we just mentioned, I'm going to do uh, pause. Okay, so on my other side, I have some paw prints, kind of. <laughs> so. Next, I, I think I want to try doing some, some stripes. Okay, I think next I'm going to do lightning bolts. I'm going to do lightning bolts. I've got my lightning bolts or my zigzags. Okay, the next thing that I think I am going to do is, uh, I like flowers. So I've got my flowers there. Oops, it's kind of hard with the reflection. These are very reflective. Um, all right, um, next I think I'm going to do little triangles. So yeah, you can think about shapes that you're learning in school and, and in math. You could do little uh, circles or squares or triangles. Something I like to do too is I like to pretend like my drawing is also coming out of the the border so you see a part of it like it's kind of cut off and that's a fun way to do um, some pattern artwork all right then of course since this is uh, we're making musical instruments I'm gonna draw some notes <laughs> I'm gonna draw some eighth notes so they look like this yeah, you could do whole notes, right? Instead of circles, you could draw whole notes. So I've got my eighth note right there. My eighth notes, actually. So here are my music notes and a little pattern. And then I think for my last one, I don't know yet. I'm thinking, oh, because it's almost um, Valentine's Day. Hearts! Yeah, I can draw little hearts. So I don't have them all going in one direction. They're just in all different directions. Yay. And then you can go ahead and do that on the other side, okay? Um, or not the other side, but do that on your second, on your second CD is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, if you want to do more patterns, you can. But I think I might just cover it up with tape or I might just leave it blank. It doesn't matter. So it's up to you, okay? But I'm going to decorate the other side now. Hi, everybody. Hi. Okay, we're back. And we've decorated uh, our CDs, okay, both of them. And can you show them yours? And hold it up so they can see the wonderful job that you did. I loved how Jameson used rainbow colors, so I copied that. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our string and you want to cut an arm's length. So just measure your arm and cut one arm length for one symbol and then another arm length for the other uh, symbol. So you should have two strings that are an arm's length, okay? And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab some tape and you're going to just kind of wrap one end of it. That way it makes it easier to use to thread through. And you're going to get two beads, one for each symbol. So Jameson, you picked, what, what did you pick? You picked orange and, and red, and I picked two clear ones, so it really doesn't matter, okay? And great job grabbing that tape and wrapping one end of it. Okay, and then you're going to also get another piece of tape and wrap just the end of that, okay? All right, great job, buddy. Yeah. 
You need a little help? You got it. I got it. Okay, awesome. That's good. Okay, so then, then you're gonna grab your bead, okay? And you're gonna thread your string with the tape end right through, just like that. Okay. Did you get it through? Is it really too big? You think the tape wrapping is too big? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so a trick with that too is um, you can just grab some scissors and then you can cut it so so this end with the tape is a little sharper, it's a little pointier, okay? If you just cut it, that might help, okay? Mm -hmm. Did that help at all? Mm -hmm. Cool, awesome. So grab one of your CDs, okay? And then... You're going to hold the bead in the middle of that, that little hole right there, you see? So, did it come all the way through? Mm. Okay. I think I need the bottom also. Oh, no. Sometimes, too, the second trick is to twist it. So you can cut, cut it so it's got a pointy end, and then you can twist it. Okay, so try it again. Good job, buddy. You did it. Where's my right one? Okay, so. Where about my right one? Well, we'll do that one next, but we want to show them this first side. Okay, so just grab one of your symbols, and then you're gonna you're gonna hold the bead in the middle of your uh, of the hole of the symbol. So like this. So have it just go right on top like this. Mm -hmm. You got it. So hold it. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. And then with that one end, you see this? Mm -hmm. um, you want to do it so that it's it's closer to the end of the of the tape, okay? So hold it up for them so they can see. Okay. It's gonna be like this. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you if you need to do it on the table, that is okay, right? And then you're going to wrap this around around the other side and then you're going to thread it through that same bead so this bead is going to fall through that hole okay so now it's through the hole and then i'm going to take that same end with the tape and then i'm going to thread it right through okay so thread it through the same same hole but see what i did is i put the string through the same bead hole and on the other side. So this might be a little bit tricky, but I bet you, you can do it. And then you're just going to have it like this. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay. So Jameson, I'm going to show you, this is what, this is what you're going to do. Just like me. Okay. You're going to take this end and then you're going to push this through and then you're going to take this end and then you're going to thread it through the bottom. So let me just bring it closer to my camera so everybody can see. And then you're going to thread it through like this. Thread it through here. Thread it through like this. Thread it through here. But I'll have to hold it here. So I'll hold the bead and then you can thread it through. And then pull it through on the other side. Oh, you did it! Good job! See? Just needed a little bit of help, okay? And then and then you're going to pull it through just a little bit more. So pull it through. Go ahead, pull it. There you go. Okay, so we're going to have it so, so it's going to be tight now. Now you're going to pull them both tight like this, okay? And then you're going to tie this into a knot two or three times because you want it to be tight, okay? So some of you might already know how to tie a knot, which is wonderful. Um, Jameson, do you, I don't think you know how to tie a knot yet, but you're gonna make an X, 
So what you can do is you can make an X. Let's try to show our friends. And then one end is gonna go under and through, just like that, okay? And then you're gonna pull it tight. And then you're gonna make another knot. But we're, I'm just gonna make sure that I have it, have the string tight before I tie my second knot. And you might need a grown-up friend's help because if you make a second knot, it's always nice to have someone put their finger here so that you can tie another knot on top and then pull it tight. Okay, go mm -hmm. ahead. So, so now you're gonna do a little X, do a little X. Mm -hmm. You put that one too. Uh huh. And then put this through the hole. No, nope. uh, oh, you, yeah, pull it this way, and then, and then, and then pull it tight, and then, uh, so pull it, pull it tight, keep pulling it tight, all the way through. There you go. Good job. Awesome. So now that you have a double knot. And we'll just do a triple one just in case. Okay. You can cut, you can cut this end right here. Okay, just cut it short. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hi. So we're back, and you should have finished um, both sides of the bead and the string threading it through. And now we're going to teach you how to hold it. So you have to look at one end of it, one side of it, and you're going to make like um, kind of a V with your fingers, just like that. And you're going to put them underneath one side and then the other finger underneath the other side. So here I have my middle finger and my ring finger underneath one side and then my index finger on the other. You could also have it like this. So your index finger and your middle finger on one side and then your ring finger on the other. It really doesn't matter mm -hmm. as long as it feels secure. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you might have an easier time just putting it on on one side and then you might need a, a little bit of help from a grown-up friend and that's totally fine. So here we go. We're going to lace our fingers through in between the yarn and the CD. And then you can crash them together, just like Jameson is doing. Good job, buddy. I feel like air coming out. Oh, you feel air coming out. So, are these as loud as the cymbals that I was crashing earlier? No. No. And why do you think that is? Because they're not made out of metal, and they're made out of plastic. Yeah, they're not made out of metal, and they're, they are made out of plastic. So, very good observation, buddy. All right, so, great job. We're so excited and we are excited to teach you a little rhythm, okay? So we're gonna do this rhythm just like this, okay? We're gonna count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Can you do that? There was an extra, there was an extra hit at the end, but that's okay. Okay, let's try that again, okay, ready? I'm gonna count to four, and then we're gonna come in. So music is organized into some groups of beats and so I'm gonna count out a group of four beats and then we're gonna do our little rhythm which is gonna be one two three four one two three four just like that okay you ready okay I'm gonna count to four and then we're gonna play one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. Good job. Let's try that one more time, okay? Good job out there, too. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to count out a beat, um, a group of four beats, and then we're going to come in. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, you all did such a wonderful job. High five. High five. <laughs> Crash symbol high five. Or high ten. Boom. <laughs> it's not doing the test. All right. 
So, thank you so much for joining us and great job, right? What else do you want to say to everybody? Nothing else. Nothing else? Keep up the great work. Bye!